fortunate thing for black people is that you have BLM and the virtuous use of donations that can yes. keep everything on track. Yeah, you don't need to right. worry. Daddy's in the hot yeah, seat. Absolutely. How many mansions does that girl who started, that woman who started it have now? Like She's five. left now, right? The first lady that did it left. The one who's got the five mansions. Silent, or oh, very sort of quietly slipped away. I saw after the news story about the $6 million mansion came out, do you see that there was an internal memo leaked Ooh, about good. this? Go on. So an internal memo got circulated uh, in an effort to see how they could downplay the fact that the $6 million mansion <laughs> was there. Um, they got caught lying about this is, uh, they, they got caught lying about its purpose, apparently. So it oh. was, I think they called it, they called it like the center. Oh, or, I see. Or the hive. It's community center. It's something like ah. that. Yeah, $6 million mansion. Um, mm. And then they had everybody sign NDAs and then they sent uh, private investigators after the journalists that were looking into it. Uh, but when you have a lot of donations, you're allowed to. And one of the things that was interesting, this was reported, or, or one of the um, instigators for why this began becoming investigated was because of some of the local communities that were expecting support from BLM had found that they weren't getting support. So you had people who were struggling to make rent, who were living in these sort of impoverished communities and stuff like that. Uh, and meanwhile, yeah, the original director, CEO, somebody uh, has slipped out, but still in her wake, there is a uh, an aftershock of a, a $6 million mansion. She, she has still stuff. held on to five or so properties, hasn't well, she? Well, you need to. Yeah, I mean, you've got to get from one swimming pool to another. It's easy to get bored with one swimming pool. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a this is a hustle. I mean, if 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 no one did you call it that. Black Lives Racket? Black Lives Racket. That's right. Uh, I, one of my roles, I, I, write, I write a weekly column for the New York Post, and um, uh, we we uh, ran a great front page on, on this benighted um, news emerged. I think Post were one of the. I think they tried to come for the Post actually on exposing this. Um, yeah, well, I think these people are, um, I mean, you ask about motives and things, and this is the easiest one, of course. <laughs> uh, one another mansion. And another mansion. Uh, um, Black Lives Mansions was the fun <laughs> we, we, we ran, um, only the post. And, uh, the, um, yeah, the, 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 the impetus for these people is so obvious, so damn clear. Um, and it's, it's, it's just, it's such a, it's such a, shame for so many reasons you know they like a lot of sort of charity like things they have to present a situation as being worse than it is in order to maximize profits i mean all the gay rights groups do that now i mean i wish they'd all just shut up and shut down and go home uh but they don't they all they all they, they've all got pensions interests you know in vested interests these are all vested interests and they they have to all these groups and blm is a classic stuff have to make the situation appear worse than it is they have to exaggerate the extent of racism in America, for instance, in order to maximize donations. They then have to mislead a load of perfectly, sometimes perfectly decent people, not always, into handing over money. They get corporations to hand over effectively ransom money. I mean, it's a sort of protection racket, you know, awfully nice business you've got there. Shame if anyone accused you of racism. Um, and uh, and then you've got the, 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 the people who... Um, who were expecting to benefit and 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 don't benefit because the whole thing was a hustle. Well, you know, in America, we, we have a very clear um, sense of, I say we because we're sitting here, but um, of a certain type of uh, pastor huckster. You know. I read about this in the post the other week. You know, they're the sort of uh, Tammy Faye Baker sort of figures who, who you know, um, uh, they still go on a bit. Actually, there's one in Texas still. Who sort of, you know, they like take out huge TV commercials and they say, you know, you got to hand over your your money because I just got to have a helicopter. <laughs> for Jesus. I was in the car. I was in the car yesterday in an Uber, and I, I've taken since I've been here. I usually listen to classic FM uh, to mm -hmm. wake up on a morning. What I've found is that when I first wake up, if I listen to music, I can't get the song out of my head. And sometimes right. with classic FM, this can be really awkward because a lot of the music is done to the same pace that I walk at. And that means uh, that as I'm walking down the street, I'm I'm creating the drum beat to the song that I'm trying to get out of my own head. <laughs> so out here, I've taken to listening to uh, um, Keeping Him Close By, which is a local Houston Christian radio station. Anyway, I got in the car yesterday. Uber driver had a different 
the station on, and they were doing a 60 second countdown donation drive uh, and saying, you know, if if you feel moved mm. to submit this money, then you can. You know, it, it's it's going to help. It is there for, for a what? good reason. For what? I don't know. And and then it was mm. if they got if this particular station that must be part of a bigger network got more money than the other stations that were in different areas in the country on the same network. I don't, maybe the presenters won a, a trip to some. I don't know, but mm. it just felt so it's, icky yeah. to me. And that's you know that that's being broadcast on the radio this right, isn't a, yeah, you know yeah. the pastor huckster doing yeah, it to yeah. a small town and that that was that sort of commercializing of mm -hmm. of donations you know using a bunch of psychological tricks a mm -hmm. one time offer a countdown timer yeah, yeah, this yeah. is click funnels from 2006 right. you know with a oh and here's an upsell for just another right. 5 dollars you can get our free dvd course that you can whatever whatever it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a tangent. I've got to say, I mean, there's, there's no greater joy than for a, a British person to just sit down and watch adverts on American television. Uh, I once uh, some years ago I was in uh, Los Angeles and I was watching a television channel hopping, and there was a an advert from a local funeral home, a nine hundred ninety nine dollar ninety nine cent cremation funeral, all in. Uh, offer was only available for another month. <laughs> What, what what can you do with that? I mean, Granny, <laughs> look, there's this amazing offer, and I know you're not well. This offer is only on for another month. There is a long set of stairs. If you in were this gonna, house. if you were going to live another five weeks, you wouldn't be able to take advantage of this magnificent <laughs> offer. <laughs> so, you know. Time Anyhow, but go. the point is, is that yes, we all know that type of huckster and and and, and you know tin rattling maniac who. Who, who who comes from a sort of certain type of tr religious better tradition. Instagram page now? Right, BLM is is one of those. I'm sad that it's taken this amount of time for it to work, to people to wake up to it. I'm sorry that they did become that. You know, they could have been a civil rights campaigning organization, campaigning for re remaining legitimate complaints of black but Americans, see, but they didn't do that. They just became another racket. Even supporters of them now or supporters of the movement have started to distance themselves by using two different terms, right? People talk about Black Lives Matter mm. to refer to the movement and they talk about BLM to refer to the organization. Uh, and as soon as you, as soon yeah. as I started to see that, it's like, yeah, that won't work. That's a, that's a sign of um, internal yeah. uh, dispute. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.